up in the northeast it has been extremely cold i've been freezing my butt cheeks off every time i go out in the morning do so you know what i did i texted my boy rob i said rob can i come down to texas do a little fishing here he is guys what do you got to say to that rob uh i gotta say that i haven't fished in a couple weeks so hopefully we catch fish. you haven't fished in a couple weeks were you hunting again yeah you're hunting again yeah. all right we're gonna go on a little adventure. I'll be here for the next three days. And the goal is for me to catch a new personal best. Current PB sits at about seven and a half pounds. It was caught in Alabama about, I think it's two or three years ago. I'm due for a new PB. We're gonna try to make it happen this trip. Rob's gearing up right here. What's the plan for today, Rob? Uh, flipping. flipping. I think it's gonna be a lot of flipping. Maybe some, uh, I don't know. I don't even know what the winds are doing. Is it windy? It, no, not windy today. It's not windy? Nah. Maybe maybe we'll get lucky. They'll eat a top water there, but I mainly just flipping. Mainly flipping, yeah. all right. Rob's got all the it's like, gear. It's like a bunch of grass and reeds. Yeah. That's always fun. Actually, that's something that I don't get a, a chance to fish too often because one, I mostly fish from the bank. And two, in the northeast, I mean, I kind of missed my opportunity for flipping and pitching, I think. So this will be pretty fun. Here's all my gear. Just drove in. I mean, took the Uber in about five minutes ago unpacked my fishing backpack got two rods that rob hooked me up with i'm gonna add my two reels that i have nope those aren't it gonna add my two reels that i have and before we head out let me show you guys one more thing every time i walk in here always a good feeling right here we've got jake what are you doing over here jake getting all the new stuff sorted out look at this we have uh, probably thousands of new baits Where, where's it all going in the store Store, you guys, mainly the store and you guys, that's it. All so. right, I mean, you must have been busy today. Yeah, and yesterday. And yesterday. and yesterday. Working hard, appreciate that, man. Yeah, no problem. There you guys go. If you guys want to stop in, we are now fully loaded with all the new stuff. Got the frogs, the spinner baits, the jerk, got the jerk baits too, right? Jerk baits, yeah. All right, we got all everything. Over all over here. Wires, scissors. Let's take a quick scope in the store before we head out. Let's, let's see how Jake's been doing with his uh, organization over here. Here's the fish tank. Fish are looking nice and healthy. Last time I was here, there were like a hundred little mini goldfish. I don't know if they all got eaten or what. But now you got a bunch of these minnows. I don't quite recognize the species. Guys, comment below if you know what they are. I'm honestly not sure what they got over here. Got the wall, and then it looks like all the new hard baits are gonna be set up right over here. These are the crank baits. These were here last time. But the new stuff right here, the juice jig, the thick jig, they got the top waters, spinner baits, buzz baits, frog, everything's going on the wall. And they even got my merch up here. All right, got a little bit of everything. Place is looking good. I think it's time to hit the water. I'm ready to go fishing. We've made it. Two hour drive later, we are at one of Rob's secret lakes right here. How's it look out here, man? Uh, it's a little stained. A little stained? Tad stained. Yeah. You don't like stained? Yeah, it's fine. No, it's fine. Yeah. So interesting thing about this, this is actually a public lake, yeah. but it's hard to find. Yeah. How'd you find it, by the way? Google Earth. Google Earth. Yeah. So guys, you can find good fisheries, you know, use your head. And apparently last week we had, you guys had a, what, a massive cold snap yeah, in Texas? It was, it was like 18 degrees. 18 here. degrees. Yeah. Colder than Maryland. Which is terrible for me. Water's high, it's stained. You got the pads right there. They're looking like they're dying off a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Let's, ch let's check the water temp. Dude, this water's ice cold. <laughs> it's cold. It's because, dude. It's so cold. Is, oh my God. That's really that cold. Is... Low 50s, low 50s, high cold. 40s. That is cold. I'm gonna tell you right now, guys. We wanted to have a good, easy day of fishing. Now it's most likely gonna be a tough grind. Cold, muddy conditions. These are the number one worst fishing conditions you could ever have. Have you ever fished water this cold in Texas this time of year? Not this time of year. Yeah, not this time of year. And to top things off, I gotta take a dump. Yeah, I need to take a dump. <laughs> <laughs> Drop me off in the bank. Ready to go. All right, business has been taken care of. Rob's getting ready. Power pole's down. You guys see that? The pads are dying and browning. Last time Rob was here, this place was looking a lot more green. Different conditions, different day, but 
We're gonna try to see what these fish will hit. What are you gonna throw? I'm gonna start with the spinner bait. Okay. What I'll about flip. you? I'll flip. If you're to flip? Throw, you're all right. Flip. There you go. Here, you wanna throw that in there? Uh, oh my god, look at all that. <laughs> it's a lot of Guggen stuff. Yeah, yeah, put my spinning reel in there. Team effort to start things off. I'm gonna use a moving bait. Rob's gonna be flipping. We're gonna figure these cold water fish out. I'm gonna pull out a bait I have confidence in. That's gonna be the Zinger from the Mondo kit. I, uh, I'm good right now, thanks. You guys probably saw me use this bait pretty recently. Did some work on it. We're gonna see if it holds true down in Texas. Oh, definitely. Definitely fishing here. And we're going to catch him. The question is, how are we going to catch him? First bite is always key. Rob's only fished here, what, three times this year? Yeah. yeah, so neither of us have much experience at this lake. There are good fish. Ooh, that, that was a little bump. I think that's a pad. Nope, this ain't doing it. It's time for a change. Oh, yeah, much better. This is going to do a trick. I'm calling it 10 pounder first fish. Oh, there's number one. There he is, finally. That's there a nice fish. Go. That's a nice one. Right on the point. There's a good fish. I hit a jig. He's just sit, sitting on the bottom. Does she have any mud on the on the belly? That'll really be in, no. indicative that uh, she's hugging the bottom. Cold fish, I bet, right? Yeah, that's cold. That's icy cold. Were you going super slow? Yeah, I was slow. Like, I wasn't even moving. It was just sitting on the bottom. Oh, dead sticking it. Dead sticking it. I she mean, what, what do you think? Three pounds, two and a half? That's a three. Yeah, that's a three pounder. Three pounder. Come on, let's stick. That's the way to do it right there, man. So, Rob is dead sticking. Here are the conditions 55 degrees. We're in five and a half feet of water. That is the first piece of the puzzle to catch fish today. Good yes. job, man. I'm going to flip it back around. Yeah, yeah, definitely hit it again. That was on the point? That was right on the right point. Right on the point. Yeah. All right. God, I don't know how you're not getting bit. Like, what you're doing right now is like, part, like windblown. I know. Pads. Why are they not eating right now? That's what I'm saying, man. These fish, we're not a big fan of that 18 degree cold snap. Maybe they'll start using donuts. That's a fish. No. That's a fish. No, it isn't. I knew it. Is it really? I, that's oh a fish, my dude. god. I called it. Last cast, I did say that, yeah. Oh my god. You gotta, you gotta tell the oh fish god. god. Last cast. Not as big as yours though, man. No. Woo! <laughs> you've been fishing for the last hour until I got last cast. Got him on the, uh, the old swim jig with the saucy swimmer. See that, Cameron? Dude, that's about a third of the size of Rob's fish, but these fish are healthy. Look at them. Little chodes right here. Look at the look at the girth on them. What's that, Rob? A little chode. Yeah. A little chode. Up right there. Yeah, it is a little chode. Let it go. This was. This is a good point that Rob put us on right here. Let me explain to you guys what just happened. I caught fish number one. My GoPro turned off, so you're probably watching either Rob's footage or Cam's footage. Basically, we're on this point right here. I said last cast threw the swim jig out. Had a couple little taps, then that fish came up and nailed this bait right here. Got the saucy swimmer on a swim jig. <sighs> I wasn't expecting that. It's a start. Yeah, we weren't, ex I mean, it's been a real tough day out here, real slow. These fish are very finicky, but we've got two in the boat between the two of us. So maybe, just maybe, we're on to something now. All I was doing, casting basically parallel to the reeds. Working it nice and slow in, our, in this frigid water. This water's gotta be warm. What the hell, dude, it says 52. Yeah. Why is it so cold? That's the same as Maryland. Why did I even come down here? I don't know why you What are you kidding me? Look at these guys. 52 degrees. The last time I went fishing was 49. Dude, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> Could save myself a flight. <laughs> <laughs> This is what we're dealing with guys. We're making a move to the other side. Not much going on. Pads are very dead. They could be absorbing oxygen, which uh, is not good for catching fish on them, but don't really know what's going on. What's going on, Rob? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Got him. I don't know either. Got him? There he is. There he is. Oh, 
That one was huge. Oh, he was big. Okay, will he hit again? What were you doing there? To give me some clues, man. I want to catch a five pounder. What was I doing? I was, I was slowly dragging it. Another point. That's point number two. You know, you know, you just said that point number. When you said, "Oh, yeah. look, another point." Yeah. Hey, at least we got the bite. I know we got a bite, and got we got bite. to see him come out yeah. of the water. Yeah, and a big head. He was big, not even big. Big old head on that girl. He just was. I could feel this kind of heavy pulling. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, these fish are it's ultra finicky. Not really looking to bite. By the way, everybody is sitting home. Water temps are 52. They're not 55. They're 52. Boom! Bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> is that a pad stem? Not a pad stem. Not a pad stem. <laughs> All right. Hey, hook sets are free. Sorry about that. Oh no no no! It was a bluegill. It was a okay, bluegill. I was, about to say, I was about to say my teeth aren't free. <laughs> <laughs> bluegill hit, guys. False alarm. <laughs> nah, nah, that that's not enough to make you lose the fish. No 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 no! I'm just. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> Big. Big. It's in the pads. It hit in the pads. Dude, this is my non-dominant hand. Is the awkward hand? It's my awkward hand. <laughs> I got him though. We are. It's, it's a baby. Ah. <laughs> it's a baby, dude. But but it's another fish. No, it's good. Woo! I mean, this would be a good fish for Maryland. But when I'm down here in Texas, I'm looking for the big gals. You guys have just witnessed the first fish ever caught on the new Guggen swim jig. Let this fish go, about a pound and a quarter. Nice green back. See you, babe. Got the saucy swimmer with JJ's magic and a 3 8 ounce Guggen swim jig. I don't even know the name for it yet because I don't even know if we came out with the name yet. Has not hit the market. You guys will see these soon. We're getting back in there because I think we finally figured something out. I think we did. All right, I've reset the swimmer. Nice compact little package here. So let me tell you what I figured out. Got a nice compact <laughs> Thanks Rob. Water temps are cold. We're fishing shallow water along the reeds. Temps are slowly rising up as the day goes on. It's about three o'clock, got a couple hours left of daylight. We are just fishing as slow and methodically as we can on the bottom near the reeds. That's basically all there is to it. Rob lost an absolute giant, probably a six plus pounder. Why do we gotta keep rubbing this? <laughs> We're gonna keep mentioning it until you redeem yourself, man. And I just got fish number two for myself, so things are starting to look better. Was that a bite? I don't know. Okay. You said hooks us a free, so I believe. Yeah. All right, to the point. The point of 10 pounders. What do you think? 10 pounders today? Uh, 100 million percent. 100 million percent. I might got a tap. Hold on, I might got a tap right here. It's a light one. I felt something real light, and there were not any reeds over there. Nope. Right handed, baby. I got him. It's not huge, but I mean. No, he's better. No, he's decent. He's decent, dude. He? Oh, it's a monster, dude! It's a monster! <laughs> it's a monster! Dude, I'm not kidding. It's a freaking oh, you, giant. You look so goofy, really. I know! My right hand, dude! Oh, shit. Live him. That ain't a giant. That's, a, that that's ain't, not a giant! No giant. Just live that's a five-pounder, dude! We gotta test these rods. Fuck okay, okay. We gotta live test them. the new rods. But One, two, three! Let's go, baby! Woo! <laughs> Let's go! Look at this! That's a great fish. Uh, look at look at the shape of him. Hold on a sec. He absolutely choked it. Hammered that thing. Look yes. at that. Oh, it just popped out. I didn't even have him hooked very well because I, I can't hook I can't hook him on my right hand. That's a good fish though. <sighs> what do you think it is? Uh four. Alright, I'll put him on the scale. Half. Hold him in four the water half. for me. I'm okay. putting him four and a half. We're gonna weigh him. Make it official. Yeah, I'll say four and a half. Yeah, yeah, we'll get with Alright. Get her on the scale. Got her? Rob's guessing four and a half. Yeah, I think four and a half. Official weight. Dude, you're good. Yeah. 4.4, 4, just that. under four and a half. Four and a half pounds. That's a good fish, though. That is a good fish. That's a real good fish. God, I wish. Oh, oh no. no! It floats, it floats, it floats. Oh, it does. Oh, it's sinking, it's sinking. Go, Rob. Oh, sh. Help. Now I'm just cold. 
Now I'm just cold. That was my fault, guys. Damn it. That was my fault. Rob's cold. This is not a good day of fishing for you, bro. <laughs> I know, I, know hey. I missed the giant. Yeah, I appreciate you uh, oh. trying to not litter. That was my fault, guys. I just littered. Almost freezing. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, it's all good. Oh, it no. Float, and it didn't float. <laughs> it did not float. It was not a... That's my bad. I thought it floated, but uh. Oh, man. This water is cold. Yeah, you're right. on me. See a big girl. I know. Ooh. Let's see that arm, Rob. Dude, Yikes. I was trying to. That's the fish you were looking for, huh? That is the fish I was looking for. Guys, we have been absolutely grinding out here. Like, grinding. Like, tell him, Rob. No, like, you know when you stick your head in, like, a meat grinder? Yeah. That's it right there. Oh, I thought it's got good. Do the points. The only thing that's been working for us is slowly fishing windblown points with reeds on top. That's the only thing that'll work. Using the new Guggen swim jig, saucy swimmer trailer, dipped in a little chartreuse. Finally, got a good fish today. We're not gonna be out here much longer, I don't think, but before we head out. No, I'm like, I'm slightly, I'm slightly, slightly chilled. Slightly chilled. Yeah. We got a little bet going on, Rob and I. Yeah. We're gonna see if it works out. 100 bucks, what do you got from here? Oh no, you wanna start with that end? Yeah, yeah just, just camp me out over there. Yeah, okay. camp me over there. I'm betting, Rob, I can catch a fish on a blade bait. Blade bait? Is that, is that cool? Yeah. Blade bait? No, bass. We said large bass, mouth. large mouth. Large yep. Mouth. Yeah. $100, 15 minutes. I need to catch one fish on a blade bait fishing the spillway. How deep is it, Rob? Uh, I think it's like 25 foot right here, and it goes, of course, shallow as you get that one. All right. Pretty deep. Pretty deep, cold, <laughs> muddy. This will be real interesting. Fish in stained water. Got to go with gold. All right. There we go. Right there, guys. We got a, uh, got a 3 8 ounce, I think, and a half ounce. Blade bait. Blade bait. Ready to lose $100, man? No, I'm not losing. This is easy peasy. <laughs> it's a 15 minutes. You only get to fish the concrete and open right. water. Yep, no reeds, concrete and open water only. Easy. Actually, uh, you know what? Look, I've actually got bluebills on me right now. You do. So we're good. Get ready for the poker game. Yeah. 15 minutes? Yep. Start now. Yeah. Here we go, guys. 15 minute challenge, one bass. I'm going straight to the concrete. There's... It's dying. It's pretty much... Holy shit, where'd that cast go? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> yeah, okay, 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 okay. Uh, what happens if you break it off? Yeah, I got retie. That's, I mean, I don't. The timer keeps running. We do not stop until the challenge is over. Yeah, I'm gonna fish all. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna jig my bait down the concrete right here. That's the plan. Hopefully, my casting gets a little. There you go. That's a perfect cast. Oh, what the hell is down? You got snagged on something? It's like I think it actually might be chunk rock. Oh, is it really? You might be in luck. Yeah. If it's chunk rock, you're done, dude. Yeah, I didn't realize that was down there. I thought it was just a slick concrete wall. <laughs> I was getting hung, I'm getting hung up and I'm bouncing off stuff. So. Oh, it's over. This challenge is over. The blade bait. Oh! No way. I got something! I got... Is that lost? It's lost! <laughs> Let's go! Hey, did that count, Cam? Did we say a size limit? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, baby! All right, buddy. That sucks. Thank you, my little friend. Dude, it was like two minutes. The hundred dollar fish, two minutes. Let's let's look at the official time. How long it took? No, because you, you you did a thumbnail and everything. <laughs> I, it two was, minutes. It was three minutes it, in. It took me two yeah. minutes to catch that fish. Yeah. The blade bait, baby. Woo! I just won the bet. I know it's terrible. And. We've come back to some flipping. Rob, you're not a huge fan of the blade bait? They want no, to try the... Uh, no, no, no. I like, I like the big ones. You know, like the big giant ones. The you know, juicy this, ones? Like the big juicy girls. Yeah, I like how you use your hands to show that. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, how do you know there weren't big ones on the rocks? No, I mean, there's no, there's no big fish yeah. eating. I mean, think You're probably that. right. A little crappy blade bait or yeah. this. I mean, come on now. That one I caught earlier... It's true. ...was a giant. Yeah, Honestly, I mean... You know what? I didn't, ca I didn't catch it. You almost caught it. I mean, he's probably right because I did catch a four inch fish on the blade bait. So <laughs> we're going back to the big fish pattern where he hooked into a five, six or seven. We don't know how big it was. And I hooked into a four and a half. So this is our last hurrah. How much time we got left to fish? The sun's going down. 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Let's make it happen, guys.